Web Plus provides a wide range of theme layouts and design templates for you to use. However, there may be times when you want to create a design from scratch. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set up a very basic design for a mobile site to complement our primary wild florist site that I created in another tutorial. I'll also assume that you've got some knowledge of the tools that I'll be using. From the Startup Wizard, I'll click Start New Site. The next step is to create a name for my site, and as I know it already, I'll add my published URL. I want to create a mobile site for mobile phones with larger screens. I can set the default height of all pages here, and then, as I've planned my site on paper already, I know that I need three pages. In the next dialog, I can either select the colour scheme or even create my own. Next, I can choose a navigation bar to add to my site. The next step is to add assets. My previous Wild Florist site was made up from items from the Doodle Asset Pack. As I'm now creating a mobile version of my site, I'll use the Doodle Mobile Assets. Finally, before I exit the dialog ready to begin designing, I can choose to save the project file. Now I can complete the setup. You can see that we now have a very basic structure in place and we're almost ready to begin designing. If you look at the navigation bar, you'll see that it lists Home, Page 2 and Page 3. Obviously, I need to change these names to something more appropriate. I know I want a contact page and a services page. I can make these changes from the site tab. I click to select the page entry and then on the right click menu I select page properties. Now I can change the page name, the page title and to keep things simple the file name. I just need to complete these steps for page 3. Notice that the page title has already been partially completed with the site name I specified right at the start. You'll see that the navigation bar has automatically updated to reflect these changes. As part of my design, I'd like my navigation bar to align to the right of the page to leave room for my logo in the upper left corner. I need to make these changes to the master page. I'll start by editing the navigation bar. I'll select it and then click the Edit on Master Page button. This takes me directly to the master page. I can now make my changes to the navigation bar. On the Assets tab, I have a selection of assets that were selected earlier. In the Page Content section, I can see the logo I want to use. I'll just drag it to the page and edit the text. I also want to change the background. I can do this quickly and easily by dragging one of the assets backgrounds to the page. I'll also add any graphics I want to appear on every page. Finally, I use an HTML frame to add the copyright text. I always want the copyright information to appear at the bottom of the page, so I'll attach it there. This means that even if the page grows or shrinks, the objects will always be placed at the same distance from the bottom edge. Let's see how this looks on the other pages of my site. Before adding the content, I want to ensure that my copyright information is also included in code when the site is published. I can do this by editing the site properties in the edit menu.
In this dialogue, it's also possible, amongst other things, to set up the site's favourites icon. And set the search engine description and keywords. Now that I've got the basic structure in place, I can add more content to my website using the tools in Web+. Well, that's all for this tutorial. For detailed information, see the How To tab, Web+ Help, or our other online tutorials. Thanks for watching.